All right, I just want to make a quick video. I'm doing this by myself, and I'm sure a lot of you other guys are thinking you need two, three, four people to, to get this done. Um, this is a S10, a first gen S10 cab. So for me, um, I had two or three people help me get it off, and then my buddy came up with this idea. Uh, second time I had to take it off, and now I just painted it a week ago, and, and so now it's just me, and here's kind of what I did. So this is just a, uh, a regular hoist. I got it maxed out, you see here. It's all the way out to the end. Um, and what I did was I kind of took someone else's idea I seen of making this little cradle. It's basically a two by four going across there. And it just goes around the lip here. Obviously I got a moving blanket there. Same thing on the other side. And then two by four is going straight across. And the reason I made them so long the first time was because I thought I'd get three friends and we'd lift up on those. Well, it was just too heavy. I left the dash and stuff in and the front is just very heavy. So um, we still had to use a hoist regardless. And then this kind of contraption in the middle, I seen other guys, what they did was they were taking the actual hoist and they were sticking it right in the middle there and lifting it up from the middle. And I did that the first time, and man, it was uh, it was not looking good. It was really shaky. We got it. My buddy was kind of balancing it, and it was teeter tottering, teeter tottering on there, and uh, it just was terrible. So really, all you have to do is put a couple braces in the middle there. Maybe put one up top, throw a couple two by fours across, and then put these on the outside. Throw a moving blanket there. I just did it over the top because I freshly painted this, and fingers crossed it didn't chip anything or or beat up the paint at all. Uh, the ratchet straps, Harbor Freight ratchet straps, and um, we took a chain here. I don't know how many pounds it can withstand. I think it's up to like a thousand or, or some of that. I got that at Home Depot. We took a, we just got a bolt there, and uh, there's a nut on the end. I took a, I think a three quarter inch uh, driver and just went straight through there. And then you see I just drilled a little hole there and a little hole there just so those will sit inside there nicely. Same on the other side. And then you just run your hoist right to the middle there. And you can see I'm even doing it in my garage. And for balance, because that's the biggest issue with this is balance. What I did was I took two ratchet straps and there's this opening here. I took this towel, wrapped it around there. Um, and that's this is supposed to be protecting the metal from the glass and then just ran it right above the hook on one of the chain links and what that did was it lifted this whole front end because if you just do it with the hoist that front end is going to do something like this it's going to turn on you and so you lift up the front it makes it even the other issue I have is just the weight and how the hooks are is this whole now you can see this is straight Go straight and the cab is parallel to you. Um, or horizontal or whatever you want to call it. And so all I did was I just took another ratchet strap and I ran it to one of the seat belt bolts there. And I just ran it to the hoist, tightened it up a little bit so it would bring this cab back towards me so it's flush. So I'm going to go ahead and install this now. I just wanted to show some other guys because I'm sure there's a lot of do-it-yourselfers just like me. And um, these projects, you want to do them, but you think there's no no way to get it done. So without calling people, and me, I work nights. So during the day, all my friends are at, at work. And, uh, you know, I, I want to get this stuff done. So there is a way. If you have any other updates or comments or, or something you want to throw at me that I might have missed, feel free to let me know. Uh, I like the feedback, and, and it works. So I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.